Hey guys, this is John Thie. I'm back with the news reading guys with PS5 Pro. Now, a lot of posts and um, articles are going around uh, regarding the PS5 Pro, and these are the estimated or the rumored specs that we might actually be seeing in the Pro version of the PS5. So, there's a custom 8 core AMD Zen 2 variable frequency up to 4.4 gigahertz, 16 GB, 256 bit. Uh, GDDR6 SD RAM plus 512 MB DDR4 RAM for the background tasks. So this is a good thing that we have background RAM as well for some of the other tasks uh, like internal stuff going on as well. So it doesn't really use a regular RAM which is kind of like a smart thing. Uh, custom AMD <coughs> RDNA 356CUs variable frequency up to 3.8 gigahertz display up to 8k now this is something that i know ps5 actually uh, apparently did advertise well in the start and, uh, like you get 8k so <clears throat> it's the same thing with the ps5 pro as well custom one terabyte pci ssd as well that is coming in with this one so looking really good uh again uh the the poster here says so there's going to be advanced ray tracing, optimized performance mode, enhanced quality mode, DualSense V2. So there could be like a new version of DualSense as well, I guess. Uh, detachable disk drive as well for the PS5 Slim. Uh, I'm I'm uh, going for the, if, if I get the PS5 Pro, I'll probably just go with the disk version as well. Just uh, avoid the hassle. So these are estimated price. These are in... Uh, <clears throat> dollars the standard is five nine 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 and uh digital is four nine nine so i'm i'm not exactly sure if this these are pro prices or ps5 prices but these are the apparent prices um there could be some scalping in the start and the prices could inflate in the start as well so mr johnson is his two l's here 16 gb not enough plus uh still zen 2 should be zen 3 or zen 4 uh, then they say, dude, this graph is just fake out. I slowly selling. So when he's selling a mid-gen refresh for 27 teraflops, unless you guys can do math, <laughs> right? And then somebody says, so it will consume over 1,000 watts. Then 1,000 watt GeForce RTX 4090 hits record 3.7 gigahertz. So a lot of comments here going on, but uh, the good news is the uh, PS5 Pro is coming out. Hopefully with that, there's some new games with the... Uh, PS5 as well that we can enjoy and some quality gaming time as well. Hopefully the scalpers don't really have a lot of, you know, things to scalp and the price does not really inflate uh, just like it did uh, with the PS5 when it came out. So that John TM signing out. You have a nice day. Thank you for listening and watching.